Hello, beautiful Nikki Drake here from Crazy Simple Truth Ministries, and I'm so glad you're here. Hey, today we are going to go through some of Proverbs chapter 4 in my interleaved journaling Bible. And if you don't have one of these, you're going to want to pick yourself up one. This thing is amazing. Amazing. I love it so much. I designed it for myself. Okay, and it's for sale on Amazon, so you can have it too. And I absolutely love it. I love the cover. It's so durable and strong, and I'm really hard on books. So I've actually like flipped it over to write, and it's really, really been durable for me. Really durable. Like I'm very impressed with it. Um, so today we're going to be in chapter four. You don't have to have this Bible to go through this study with me. But if you have not watched the other videos, you may want to stop and click the link below. So you can catch up with where we're at, okay? So in the beginning of every chapter, there is a memory verse. I will guide you in the way of wisdom. I will lead you on straight paths. And I use my mild liners um, right here to do this. They do not bleed through. They barely show through um, in these nice thick pages. So this is one of the things that I love about this Bible. It's not like regular Bible paper. All right, so here's the page we're going to go over today. It's a father's instructions. So this is King Solomon writing to his sons, okay? And it says, listen, my sons, to a father's instruction. Pay attention and gain understanding. So these are Solomon's commands to his sons. He says, for I give you sound teaching. Do not abandon my directive. When I was a son to my father, tender and the only child of my mother, he taught me and said. Okay, so the cool thing is Solomon is now quoting King David, which is so cool when you think about it. Cause King David's like famous. He was like famous, you know? And so for Solomon to be quoting him like he was his dad. Okay, so the sons who are reading this like King David's their grandpa. Okay, cool, right? Cool, right? All right, so... Solomon's passing on wisdom from his father. Now, I did make a little list here of what he's saying to them. Keep my command, get wisdom and understanding, don't forget my words, do not forsake wisdom, acquire wisdom, gain understanding. These are all of the father's instructions that he shares here. Okay, I highlighted with four colors on this page. And some pages I do differently than others. And if that makes you cringe, I apologize. But I have ADHD. I'm very creative. And so I like to change things up. So I just made myself a little key here. I found the sons in this nice little aqua color. I found the father in the purple. I found David being quoted in the green. And the wisdom personified. So Solomon personifies wisdom in this. This whole book is is proverbial wise sayings, okay? So Solomon is giving wise sayings and he wants to share those with his sons or with younger men and, and ultimately with us too, um, eventually, right? And so we are learning from this. And so this is why I really paid attention to the details and then wrote out some things, all right? So here are the commands that he's saying. King David's advice to Solomon, he says in quotes, let your heart lay hold of my words, keep my commands and you will live, get wisdom, get understanding, do not forget my words or turn from them, do not forsake wisdom and she will preserve you, love her and she will guard you, wisdom is supreme, who's supreme, who is supreme? God is supreme. God is supreme. And so this is why we know the root of all wisdom is God. The root of all wisdom is God. Wisdom is supreme. So acquire wisdom. How do we get wisdom? Jesus. We need Jesus to have wisdom. Okay. And whatever you may acquire, gain understanding. Prize her and she will exalt you. If you embrace her, she will honor you. Now remember, last time we talked about inheriting honor. The wise inherit honor. All right, so who's, who's honor? Who's going to honor us? God's going to honor us. She will set a garland of grace on your head. She will present you with a crown of beauty. So a garland of grace, okay? So if this wisdom, this she, gives us a garland of grace, look it, it says, but gives grace to the humble. Okay, we serve the giver of grace. We serve the creator of grace. And we have grace. And so this wisdom ultimately is talking about God. 
All right, I want to read you this that I got from one of my, let's see, it's the Global Study Bible, the ESV. So I subscribe to ESV.org, and it has like maybe six different study Bibles. I don't really spend a lot of money investing in study Bibles. Um, they're expensive. If people have blessed me with one, I love it. And if you want to bless me with one, go for it because I love them. They are amazing. But I use a lot of free online tools, and I do subscribe to ESV.org because I love their study Bibles. So this says, the book of Proverbs is not simply a collection of wise sayings for life. life. It is heaven-sent help for stumbling sinners all over the world from every walk of life who are willing to listen to something other than their own fallen instincts. The fool in Proverbs is not someone who lacks intellectual capacity, but the one who stubbornly lives out of his own fallen intuitions, resisting instruction and correction. Likewise, the wise person in Proverbs is not someone who is intellectually superior, but someone who humbly places himself beneath the authority of God. Such wisdom is for God's people everywhere. In his great mercy, God has clearly shown wisdom to the world, both the instruction of his word and in the person of his son. True wisdom was rooted in the fear of the Lord. Oh my goodness. Okay, I know I wrote this down and I know I read it, but I just read it again and it's so amazing when I read it out loud. Okay, yes, I'm hopping around. Uh, listen to this. Listen to this, okay? God has clearly shown wisdom to the world, both the instruction of his word, so we have his word, okay? He's shown his wisdom to us in his instruction and in the person of his son. The person of his son is Jesus Christ. True wisdom is rooted in the fear of the Lord. So where do we get wisdom? In the fear of the Lord, right? So I made this little chart here, the wise and the foolish, grounded in the fear of the Lord, despising such wisdom and destruction. So there it is wisdom from King David. Now I made a little um, tip in here and it says King David was Solomon's father. David gave his son advice while he was growing up, teaching him to love the Lord and to follow him. David was not a perfect father, but Solomon repeated his words of wisdom for his own sons. So just a little note that I made there. Okay, this was so good. I loved this one. So next we are going to be going over this page, verses 10 through 18 in the next video. So I will see you then. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. And hey, if you love all things Bible study, you're definitely going to want to look into my membership at crazysimpletruth.com backslash join and study the Bible with me personally every day of the week. All right. See you soon. Bye.